In a series of flights beginning in January 1975, three Air Force pilots and one Air Force McDonnell Douglas F-15 aircraft captured eight world time to climb altitude records. Five of the records had been held since 1962 by the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom. The three higher records were set in 1973 by a Russian Mikoyan MiG-25, known as Foxbat. The time is 10.30 a.m., Thursday, January 16th. At Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota, Major Roger Smith is about to attempt to break the 3,000-meter or 10,000-foot time-to-climb record. The old F-4 record for that altitude is 34 and a half seconds, shown on the bottom digital clock on the left. Running time is on the top clock. A digital altimeter is on the right. The F-15 lifts off the runway after a ground roll of 400 feet, approximately seven airplane lengths. With gear up, the aircraft accelerates to 420 miles per hour in 15 and a half seconds, and the pilot initiates a 5G pull-up to climb vertically. During the climb, the F-15 continues to accelerate to the speed of sound. The aircraft reaches the 3,000 meter mark in 27.57 seconds, bettering the old record by nearly seven seconds. At 1.10 the same afternoon, Major Mac McFarlane attempts to break three records about 20, 30, and 40,000 feet. The clocks on the left show the old records and running times for each altitude. On the right is a digital altimeter. Major McFarlane holds the Eagle on the deck until he reaches 500 miles per hour, then pulls up to a 90 degree climb attitude. The aircraft accelerates through the speed of sound only 23 seconds after liftoff. He reaches 6,000 meters in 39.33 seconds. Nine thousand meters in forty eight point eight six seconds. And twelve thousand meters in fifty nine point three eight seconds. Major McFarlane and the Eagle broke the old records by nine point five seconds, twelve point eight seconds, and seventeen point seven seconds respectively. The third record flight was flown that day at 4.25 p.m. Major Dave Peterson, wearing a high-altitude pressure suit, is attempting the 15,000-meter or 50,000-foot record. Upon liftoff, he accelerates about 50 feet above the runway to 450 miles per hour and initiates a 4G pull-up to a 55 degree climbing attitude. 25 seconds after release, the aircraft is accelerating through the speed of sound. On the bottom right is the altimeter. On the bottom left are clocks showing running time and the old record. The animation at the top left shows the aircraft's flight path. reaches 15,000 meters in 77.05 seconds, surpassing the old record by 37 and a half seconds. This is 10 seconds faster to that altitude than the Saturn V rockets launched the Apollo moonshots. This was an historic day at Grand Forks. Three pilots and a single airplane set five new world time to climb records in the space of six hours. The next three records had been held by the Russian MiG-25 Foxbat. 
On January 19th, Major Roger Smith is again at the controls of the Streak Eagle to attempt the 20,000 meter record, about 65,000 feet. After takeoff, Major Smith accelerates the Eagle to 450 miles per hour on the deck and then pulls two and a half G's into a giant Immelman maneuver. The aircraft is over the top at 32,000 feet and is accelerating supersonically in the opposite direction from takeoff. At one and a half times the speed of sound, Major Smith pulls into a 4G 55 degree climb. The spinning dial on the instrument panel is the aircraft's altimeter. The Eagle reaches 20,000 meters in 122.94 seconds, bettering the Foxbat mark by 46.8 seconds, a 28% margin. A week later, on January 26th, Major